Mrs. Ashwini said, It is no surprise that the water crisis in Chennai has reached its peak. Residents who do not have access to tap water are heavily dependent on the metro water tankers that take days to arrive and charge exorbitant rates. In light of this issue, the Biogel team at IIT Madras have developed an atmospheric water generator that produces water from air. This could prove to be a sustainable and an immediate solution to the water crisis in Chennai. We are here at IIT Madras today with the co-founder of Biogel, Mr. Ramesh Kumar Soni. He has been working on this project since 2015. Hello, sir. Hi. Can you tell us a little about Biogel and its working, sir? We started Biogel in 2016 with me, uh, Ankit and Professor T. Pradeep. And uh, we are uh, a company recognized by Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion. And we are also incubated by IIT Madras and uh, supported financially supported by Engineers India Limited. For atmospheric water generation, what we do is that we have uh, we collect the air and we filter it, and then after the air filtration, we pass it through a uh, cold surfaces, which are you know, which which, all, which is cooled down using the refrigerants, and on those cold surfaces, we do the condensation, and then that collected water is you know uh, filtered through several stages and remineralized and then dispensed for drinking. Is the water produced safe for consumption? The water which is condensed is filtered through seven stages. So we first do the ozonation, and then sediment filtration, membrane filtration, you know, uh, carbon filtration, and then before we dispense it out, we do mineralize this, and then we do a final UV treatment and give it for drinking water. What are the various capacities of these water generators? Uh, are working on four scales of atmospheric water generator. The smaller, smallest one is 30 liters per day. This can be used in a kitchen or in a household. Second one is 100 liters per day, which can be kept, you know, kept, which can be used for schools or houses or offices, and uh, can be installed or kept in balconies or rooftop. And then the next one is 400 liters, which can be, you know, used for a cor any corporates or restaurants or you know hotels. And then the last one is 2,000 liters per day, which can be again used with, for some industries or you know uh, water uh, bottle packaging setups. Does the water generating capacity vary according to different climatic conditions? So the water production capacity of these atmospheric water generators varies dep uh, depending upon the ambient condition. So let's say if you talk about this machine, so this is rated to produce 100 liters of water uh, at 70 percent relative humidity and 30 degrees Celsius. So if the humidity content goes high, uh, the you know the water generation capacity will go high, and vice versa. Uh, with that, also the power consumption which is needed to produce one liter of water will also come down. And if the humidity goes down, then the water production capacity will go down. So this machine, uh, so if the humidity content goes above 90, 95, uh, it will produce around 130, 135 liter or so near to that range. If it goes to let's say around 40, 50 which is you know, usually in Rajasthan, it can come down to 65 to 70 liters of water a day. Can you tell us about the future plans of Biogel? We are working on uh, you know, scaling up our production capacities and we are setting up a manufacturing place in Perungudi industrial area. And uh, with that, uh, we are uh, making a 2000 liters per day unit uh, with uh, solar. And after that, uh, we are trying to bring down the, you know, the power consumption which we do, which, which is there, you know, to generate one liter of water to even below 0.25 kilowatts per liter, and uh, also we're working on desiccant systems, which can make these machines, uh, you know, run in uh, arid areas without reducing the water production capacity as much. Thank you for answering all our questions so patiently, Mr. Ramesh. Thank you. I hope a lot more people work towards a more sustainable future.